Welcome to the tutorial video of assigning the impersonation rights in Exchange Online. The impersonation right is a unique feature which allows a service application to appear as a normal account. When a service application gets the impersonation right by Exchange Administrator, it does not require the login credentials of an account and run desired functions, like scheduled Office 365 mailbox backup, CRM integration, migration of users from one platform to another, and much more. We can use Windows PowerShell and Exchange Admin Center to assign impersonation right, and in this video we will check both methods. Windows PowerShell provides a command line interface to run useful commandlets and make appropriate changes in the settings and access to the file system. There is a series of commands which you need to input to PowerShell to assign the impersonation rights. Here is the process. First, run the Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Run the command. The command will let you run every kind of script, even if they are digitally signed or not. It will ask you to make a choice, click Y. Now, run the next command. The command will ask you to input the Exchange Online credential of the administrator account into a variable. Run the next command. The command will first ask you to input the administrator credentials. After inputting the credential, it will create a new session. Run the next command. The command will import the session to the respective variable. The process will take some seconds to complete. Just wait a little and let it complete. Now, run the final command. The command will assign the impersonation rights. When the impersonation rights are fixed, the system will present a table where the status of the application impersonation will be shown as direct. So, this was the first method of assigning the impersonation rights using Windows PowerShell. Let us move on to next method of using Exchange Admin Center for the same purpose but with different approach. First, sign in to the Exchange Admin Center using the administrator credentials and click the Admin option to go to the Admin Center. Here, go to Exchange option under the Admin Center and wait a little for Admin Center to open. When Admin Center is open, go to Permission, then Admin Roles, and click the Add button. Under Role Group, provide a new name to the Admin Role. Then click the Add button, under the Roles option. In the available list, select Application Impersonation, then click Add, and finally click OK button. Now, click the Add button, under the Members option. Here, you need to select the Administrator Mailbox as the members of the role. Click Add button, and then click OK finally. Click Save button to create a new role, and wait a little. When a new admin role is created, you can see it with the name you provided and its assigned role of application impersonation. So, there are both methods to assign the impersonation rights in Exchange Online. Thanks for watching the video, and subscribe our YouTube channel to watch more informative videos.